undivided attention. But. Okay. So we made the Hindenburg, which is a blimp that was made in Germany from 1931 to 1936. It was, um, it, well, its first actual test flight was um, actually to um, pr promote Nazi reign over Germany. So they flew it over um, all the German towns with, over, with a population of over 100,000 and dropped Nazi pamphlets and played music. And it did this with another Zeppelin called the Graf Zeppelin. And then, a couple days after that, it started its first transatlantic crossings, which is going across the Atlantic Ocean to the United States. It did a lot of those, and they were pretty luxurious and, well, fast. They took only like two and a half days, while even the fastest ocean liners could do it in only five days, and the slower ones took up almost ten days. So, um, and then with the success of its 1936 season, the Hindenburg was planned for um, 18 transatlantic crossings in 1937. So it did six non-transatlantic flights in Germany. One, one um, was actually, well, this was back in 1936 actually, I missed this. It actually flew over the Beijing, um, Olympics, over there. They flew over the 1936 Berlin Olympics. And actually, at that time, they painted the Olympic things, rings, right here. And it flew over there for a while. So then, in 1937, it did its first Atlantic crossing. And um, it, when it got to, when it was about to land, it crashed in um, New Jersey, Lakehurst, New Jersey, killing, um, 36, 13 of 36 passengers, 22 of 61 crew, and one civilian member of the ground handling team. That's, that was the end of the Hindenburg. And so to make our Hindenburg, um, we took three big K um, soda bottles, cut um, the bottom off, off one and the tips off two. Yeah. And stuck them all together. Then so, for the fins, we used um, little wood wedges and then put duct tape on uh, the whole thing. Then for this, we just used a little cardboard box. And, and to connect all those um, soda bottles, we basically covered the whole thing with duct tape. And for this, we put a little duct tape all there to make it those a good point. And back here, see the Nazi signs? Because it was from Germany. Mm -hmm. Hindenburg and Gothic letters. This is the cabin. And no, um, the Hindenburg actually held the first ever Catholic Mass set in the air. Wow. Very interesting. Um, are you done? Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, did you, now, was this your first attempt on building the blimp, or did you... No, we had no. a first yeah. attempt. Yeah. 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 Right, we had a first attempt, and we um, had blown up a balloon, and we were most of the way done with putting paper mache on the outside and it was like soaked in glue and the balloon exploded and went we got all over our faces. <laughs> we all over us. So we had to wash. And yeah, so any questions? Yes. Was there ever like a second Hindenburg or like another blimp dedicated like to like the crashing of Hindenburg after it like exploded? No, there there was actually another blimp planning to be built. It was going to be a companion to the Hindenburg, but it got scrapped in 1940 because it didn't have a Hindenburg. What what caused the Hindenburg to explode? Um, this is actually very interesting. There's been a lot of controversy about this, but um, from all the research me and Graydon did, we think it's we think it's probably because before the landing, the Hindenburg made two very sharp turns at full speed. 
and that could have caused one of the um the steel um things in here supporting it to break and then hit each other and create like a static electricity spark and then um it lit the hydrogen and that hydrogen lit the thermite and iron oxide paint all over it which is very flammable mm -hmm. and then it burned down in like 37 seconds Wow. Do they still use hydrogen for these blimps no, that they make? What do they? Helium. Yes, because it's, it's a much it's more stable gas. Yes, yeah, not as flammable. Okay. Do blimps travel as fast as the Hindenburg did now, even with, with the helium? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think I guess because modern technology advancements, probably it, the, they some blimps can probably go faster than the Hindenburg. Mm -hmm. Not not too much because this actually did go pretty fast. Yeah, its top speed was like um, 53 miles per hour. Wow. So it did go pretty fast. Did you get fly or go in water? It <laughs> flew. It flew. It. Okay. In the air. So it looks like it's so many. Yeah. So any more questions? Oh yes. Where was this Catholic mass? What what was the blip over when when they had the Catholic mass? I think it was actually over the Olympics, the Berlin Olympics. All right. All right. Very good, guys. <laughs>